First of all, great to see you after 40 days. Well, I know. I, I know. If somebody was saying that, I was like, I feel like we've been here just because we practice here. You know what I mean? Right, right. So I feel like we've been here. But then I, then I, and then when do we play Iowa? Who do we play before Iowa? We're at Seton Hall. Then who do we play? Mercer. Mercer, we're away. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just kind of the way the schedule kind of falls. I mean, it's really hard to schedule games, and so a lot of times we have to go to their place first, you know what I mean? So we're going to – obviously it was uh, um, the SEC American Challenge was the Arkansas game. But Seton Hall has got to come back next year, so hopefully we'll have some more home games. Iowa's not, and Mercer's coming back next year. So it's just a home and homes. And then, yeah, the, the Temple postponement in there to put the final nail yeah, oh, gosh, yes. Let's just yeah. what, what, call the whole thing a road trip. Yeah. How do you think uh, the ladies did overall with all that going on? No, oh, good. I mean, uh, good. I mean, it's it's we played some really obviously big time teams that pre prepare us for these kind of games, you know, and um, purposefully. So when we go into the conference play, we're ready to play because you know, in, in the past we everybody else had the target on their back. Now we have a big target on our back, and so it's a different way to play. You know, it's you get you got to you got to play tough for all four quarters, which you see, you know, so, um, but we, we purposely scheduled up to play really good teams. And so, you know, in, in our conference, I think, um, uh, the top four teams are really good. Their net is really good and have played a lot of really good teams. And so we're, we're all as coaches really trying to up our RPI net, you know, in order to be able to get more than just two teams into the NCAA tournament. And, of course, during that time, Masanikawa getting her thousandth point. Can you yep. speak on that a little bit about how that made you feel and how much how cool it was to see that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it was at Tulane, and, I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily know if Moss knew that. She might have known that. And Megan told me a long time ago, but I can't remember anything. But so, you know, after that game, she was kind of like, eh, you know, thanks, you know, trying to be humble about it a little bit. And we were all like, that's a big deal, you know, that's a big deal. You know, and she's like, ah, because, you know, she wants to be a good teammate and, you know, she prefers to win than anything. And I think she's up there in um, rebounding and something else. And what? Blocks. And blocks. So, I mean, her, her stat chart is going to be great for history here. I mean, she's going to be in the record books in, you know, three categories for sure. Trying to transfer into tonight's game. Very interesting fourth quarter that y'all had. Held them to 28 points through three, but then allowed 29 in the first seven minutes they just what how do you respond to when a player like number 10 on Houston is just going off how do we respond um well I think th uh, they did a little bit of different things for against us they were setting a screen on Tay at the top of the press and so they were getting a little bit more loose and so they could throw cross court passes to her get her get her those passes obviously um and then they went zone and it just um kind of slowed us down our kind of our mojo but 10 is I mean obviously we know she's a three-point shooter and that's what she does and um you know they were they were smart in terms of their guards and finding her and getting her wide open shots so I mean kudos to her for knocking them down you call that timeout when you go down three what was your message to your team we have to play point? defense play defense you got to guard them I mean they they we can't exchange two for threes because nobody's on our team is making threes right at, today you know, we made how many? We made one, and they they made ten three. So we we gotta guard the three point line. We have to guard the three point line, and their two best three point shooters are number fourteen and and ten for sure. And you know, she I don't know how many she had in the fourth quarter, ten, but she had a, a lot. And would you say that the last two ish minutes of the game, did you sense more of a sense of urgency for the, uh, from the team, or did you sense something else? Maybe just responding to pressure really well during that last of the game where you end up getting the lead back and eventually winning? Well, I think it's our seniors. Obviously, Tay made some big shots down the stretch, and so did Moss. I mean, she got that and one, that post-up move, and um, and then got some tips and stuff, and we really tried to extend our defense a little bit more. I mean, we widened out. We didn't worry about the high post anymore, and, and Lish wasn't tucking it in. So, I mean, just toward down the stretch, I mean, I think our veteran team, you know, really you know pulled together and, you know, made some big plays and big stops. And do you sense this win is more of a, thankfully we won this game, or you know, you're not as happy about this win because you had such a large lead coming into the fourth quarter and you didn't end up getting keeping that lead? I think that all the teams in our league um, that are really good and really well coached. Obviously, 
I don't think anybody ever just stops playing, you know. So I think that was the biggest learning key for this game for us, that we we got to lock in no matter what the score is on, on the scoreboard because, you know, anybody could come back at any time. I mean, we've come back at any time, you know, and, and, and you know, come down by 10 and, and won the game. So, you know, I think that was a big learning experience for us, really. And speaking of good teams, USF coming on Sunday, mm -hmm. what do you know about that team currently and the research that you've done? <laughs> And what what do you want from your team key to victory for Sunday? I know nothing about them. <laughs> you know, isn't it funny how we have I mean the we got boom, 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 like the big, big a lot of big games right away. I think this game hopefully will really um, prepare us for that game. I mean, they're gonna play tomorrow night. Um, last time we played them was in the conference tournament. Uh, they have everybody back. They're a veteran team, you know, everybody came back for their fifth year and so I mean, it's going to be a big-time battle. I mean, we're, we're going to have to really lock in on Thursday in practice and Friday in practice and Saturday in practice and be super detailed about what we're doing. I mean, we're going to play hard. They're going to play hard. But we can't let their best three-point shooters get, you know, shots off. So we got to really concentrate even more detailed-wise on who the shooters are, who the drivers are, what they're going to do, who, who do we need to box out. I think it's really going to be the little things because I think both teams are going to play really hard. You know, we were talking about records earlier, and you mentioned little things here. Only shot the ball three times, but Alicia Lewis had 10 steals in the game. Haven't seen that about, like, according to what I saw from stats, like 30 years or something like that in a game. Um, can you speak to the impact that had on the game? Yeah, and I, and I said that after the game. You know, Lish is – Lish can do a lot for us, you know. We this is really she's just a sophomore to us, and really she's only played one full year for us. Where Tay's played three full years for us, and Moss has played five full years for us. So Lish is kind of finding her niche with our team and how she can, you know, do different things. And I think a lot of people guard her as a three-point shooter, so she loves to pass. And um, I think she's really getting really good at steals. I mean, Tay's been known, Tay and Diamond are known for steals on our team, but she got a lot of um, steals by doing a lot of hustle plays. It wasn't like a clean steal. It was like turning her head, the ball was bouncing, you know, kind of got her little hands on there and got in there and got some steals. So, I mean, that's that's a that's a big stat that, you know, a lot of people don't think are super important, like scoring. But we said that at the after the game. I'm like, that's that's really big time. Ten steals, that's a lot of steals. Yeah, absolutely. And then staying with the whole theme of, of the little things, of course, Destiny Thomas pretty close to a double-double tonight, along with Brittany Stiff Smith off the bench. I think, what was it, 16, and she had her share of rebounds as well. Yep. Do you think you have the best front court in the conference? Is it too bold to say that? Uh, yeah, because there's a lot of really good players. I mean, I'm we're lucky we have them on our team. I mean, and they all do different things. I mean, defensively, Moss does a really good job, and she's super smart, and she talks a lot in the back. Destiny loves to rebound. That's what she does. She wants to go get those boards. Brittany wants to score. She's a scorer, you know. So I think we have all three of them bring a lot of different things to our team, which we really need that. I mean, I've been really pushing Destiny to get a double-double in games. I'm like, it's only 10 rebounds and 9 points, you know. But she tends to get 10 rebounds, 11 rebounds, 12 rebounds every game. Like, you know, just make a couple layups, hit some free throws. I mean, you get a 10 and, you know, 11. That's a double-double. You don't have to have 25 and 25. It's just 10 and 10. It's a double-double. So I think she's getting really close to getting there. Yeah, she was tonight definitely yep. there as well. Yep. I mean, if, if there was anything else you could say about Tay's game tonight and how she took over, I mean, go ahead and tell us a little bit about that. It, it, she certainly helped the uh, initial takeoff yeah. and score. Yeah, and obviously, um, you know, I think her – her game has changed a lot since she first got here. When she first got here, it was only about defense, you know, and now she's really – Tay works on her game. She's in the gym. She shoots on the, the shooting gun. She shoots after practice. She comes here at night. She's always working on her shot and what she needs to do in the gym. And, um, you know, defensively, she's a nightmare for everybody, and especially on the front of our press, you know. Now – if you, me, you, or anybody in this room had to play the front of the press, there's no way we would make one shot. It would be, we'd be exhausted. That's the hardest part to play up at the top of the press. And she's got great angles, and she's running around, and, you know, she's boxing out, and she's getting offensive rebounds. And now we're asking her to score, you know. So that just shows she's in really good shape, you know. And um, when you're in really good shape, you have a lot more mental toughness than when you're out of shape. You, you know, when you're out of shape, you kind of, you know, like, ooh, I probably can't do it. She's just in great shape, you know. And obviously it helps that she's a senior too. The maturity is, you know, really good. But, you know, obviously she's got some big goals for this season. And right now she's right where she needs to be.
you know, you have all the fifth-year seniors that we've talked about, the, the depth and experience throughout the season. Um, we have a good sample size of games for the season here. So mm -hmm. in your mind, what is your favorite thing that you've seen in this group that they've improved from last season? I think all of them, we could get a lot of bounce scoring. I think that's kind of been the theme this year. I mean, you see different people stepping up every single game in terms of scoring. Like, we've always been like only one person scores, and then we our def we rely on our defense. Now we're getting a lot more people, you know, in, in the scoring, um, you know, category where everybody that pretty much came in today – you know, score beside Donna. So, I, and we talk about that all the time. Like, we got to catch and shoot and make those shots, and we got to shoot your shots when you're open. So, I think um, the balanced scoring thing is really a lot different than most of our teams we've had.